All right, so I thought I'd make this video to talk a little bit about how to use my maps to help with uh, local SEO. And the reason why I wanted to make this video is because if you look over here at, for instance, Hydrojetting Seattle, um, we got one of our clients to start ranking pretty high on the Google Maps for this. And, oh, they're back on the first page too, which is really nice. We had a problem with them not being on the first page for some time. But anyway, uh, the reason why I want to make this video is because there's a lot of confusion going on in terms of uh, when to use the maps. And the short answer is really just use it whenever. I like my maps a little bit more. Uh, and I, I learned this from Brett. And, and I, I really encourage you guys to check out Brett or Mindsaw uh, and his YouTube channel. He makes an um, he does an amazing job with creating content, and, and I really have to shout him out. He never even really has responded uh, that much to my comments or my uh, attempt to reach out to him, but I, I still just recommend him because he's a really good guy. Um, but anyway, uh, he he kind of points at uh, how to do the map stuff, and I'm going to show you how to do the maps, and I'm also going to show you how to do it a little bit of a step further in terms of uh, the way that I do it and the way that we do it here at JC Surge. So. Uh, the first thing you want to do is go to mymaps.google.com and you'll be prompted with something that looks like this. You're just going to click on create a new map. Okay, so you're just going to click on create a new map and we're going to rename this. We're going to rename this to the business name. Now, the title of the map name I don't think is super important, but I, I keep it this way just because. So, and I'm also going to have this on my second monitor just so I can uh, reference it every now and then. So. Um, basically the map title so in this case our client name is United Plumbing and Drain and for the description um, you're gonna type in the client name again so United Plumbing and Drain and then this should be exactly how it appears in Google My Business so you're gonna look up for instance the client name and I got a new keyboard so that's probably why it sounds all bangity bangity right um, now if they have multiple locations just do the location you want to rank for uh, and in this case it's this uh, United Plumbing and Drain within the um, the Tampa region. So um, and I'm going to double check that because I'm going to just quickly type in Tampa. Okay, and this is the one that I want. So um, United Plumbing and Drain, right? We're going to just take this name exactly how it appears. If it says United Plumbing and A and D, you take it as that, right? Consistency is key. Um, and then after that, you're going to want to take their address. So take the address, put it right underneath, and we're going to expand this a little bit. Right, so we got the address, uh, and then after that, we want to have it be exactly the same as it appears, right? So the exact same thing. Um, you can take their phone number, and the phone number is also, again, this is going to be all important stuff, right? Big stuff. We're talking big, big stuff. So take their phone number, exactly how it appears here, right? Take that phone number, and I'm just going to enter phone here. Uh, and you can even do address here if you want but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna just simple like that stuff like that and then we're gonna do service areas uh, and we're gonna do you know hours and stuff like that we can we're gonna include all this stuff so hours service areas um, so again you're gonna get this from the business area so I'm going to quickly um, get that real quick Nah, bear with me, guys. And I'm taking a little bit longer than I would have wanted. Um, so I'm going to quickly add every area. Sorry. Um, and then this is what I'm going to do. So I have all these locations right south tampa right so i'm just going to add these so south tampa city historic district um downtown tampa and yeah so i'm going to click apply give me one second i'm really sorry about that um so i'm going to take all these locations right all these locations exactly how it appears in google my business um, 
and we're going to get all of them. So control C and control V. This is it. Everything should be exactly the same as it appears on Google My Business. And after that, we're going to take all the um, the hours and you can get this from from over here, right? So you get the hours from here and stuff like that. So that's all you do. Um, and then you just control C and you do control V. Now, here's the thing. Um, our company is 24 seven. Our client is 24 seven, but they're like the hours they list are these. So this is what we want to do, right? So we want to make sure that it's um, exactly like this, right? Exactly like that. Okay. Then the next thing you want to do is once you have that is you want to have a little bit of the description so you can get the description from your Google My Business. Uh, and then again, you're going to sprinkle your keywords. So, so over here, we'll sprinkle the keywords. So you, at United Plumbing and Drain, we provide the Tampa, Florida area with some of the most reliable and trusted plumbing services available. Whether you have a clogged sewer line or a drain line, you can count on our plumbers to be responsive, professional, and get the job done right. Right. We offer a wide variety of plumbing services from sewer repair to toilet and faucet repair service. Uh, as well as um, drain cleaning, right? We service the entire Hillsborough County as well as drain cleaning, right, whatever. Uh, we service the entire Hillsborough County area and offer affordable pricing with no hidden charges, no hidden, no tacky sales technique, just parts and service, just parts and plumbing service. So give us a call when you're having a bad plumbing day, when you're having a bad plumbing day, or have any questions, right? Just, uh, uh, we're just moving a little bit. Uh, like, we at, at United Plumbing provide the Tampa, right? So just mixing things up a little bit, right? And then we'll, we'll put the website in. So we'll do visit https forward slash slash unitedplumbing-drain.com. That's it. That's all we're gonna do. Make sure this is the URL, right? Everything looks good. Save. So now we've got this URL. We've got the description of our map. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to add this uh, imported layer. And we're gonna call this United Plumbing and Drain. And then after that, so we're gonna import or we're gonna. Here's what we'll do. We'll punch in the exact way. That this is that this appears, exactly how it appears in Google My Business. So we're going to type in um, this address, right? This address, but more importantly, we're going to type in United Plumbing and Drain, and then punch that address in, and then this should be it. We want to make sure we're not just typing in the address because then it's just going to say two zero two six eight rather than United Plumbing and Drain two zero two six eight, right? That's the more important thing. So that that's what you're going to do. This is your um, your 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 layer. So this is what you want. This is your main layer. Okay. So this is where uh, you want people to go to. Now you're gonna make a bunch of um, uh, you're, you're gonna basically put in a bunch of arrows. So directions to here. Um, you're gonna add a driving layer, and you're driving from point A. From point A, you're gonna select. Let's say we want. Um, uh, you know, Tampa, downtown Tampa or something. So again, you can use this as a guide, um, your service areas. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to just put this in a notepad. So Hillsborough County, uh, I want to make sure that I'm tar obviously in, you know, within Hillsborough, um, Florida. And so uh, point A to there, this is it. So, you know, United Plumbing and Drain. Um, directions from Hillsborough County. Then we're going to add a couple of others. So, right, a couple of other directions to here. Um, we're going to do something like, for instance, we want to get people from um, wherever. You know, we're going to look for uh, South Tampa, let's say. South Tampa, right? South Tampa, Florida, right? We want driving directions to here. Okay, so I'm just going to do a couple of these. All right, so uh, let's say we want, um, let's say East Tampa, 
East Tampa, Florida. Okay. And then we want downtown Tampa. Downtown Tampa Station we could do maybe. This downtown Tampa Station area. Um, and then we'll do something else. We'll do Hyde Park, Tampa, Florida. Right? We'll just do different areas within the Tampa area. Uh, and then we'll do Ybor City. I don't even know how to pronounce that. So please, no one make fun of me. I'm not from Tampa. Um, directions. One more time, let's say. Uh, we'll do Tampa Palms. Or let's say you know da, 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 da. let's say we want people from you know a, a town and county town and country sorry um, and then we'll do one more we, we, we again we want as many as possible we want a lot of variety here we want a lot of variety so you know let's say um, people in uh, Tarpon Springs so Tarpon Springs Florida okay we want people from all of these areas. Palm Harbor. Right. Everybody from there. And let's do I know I'm going crazy, but again, this is what this is what it takes, you know. Um, and I guess this is the max that we can do. So this is what we want, right? We can get we can go crazy and get those people too. Uh, but we want people in this area. And in fact, you know what? I'm gonna change uh, from uh, wherever this is. Uh, Hyde Park because this is a bit extra. I don't think that we need uh, to be in Hyde Park. I think we can do somewhere else. Like let's say um, Largo, Florida. So that's what we want, you know. And then this is what we want. This is a good um, indicator. This is a good mind maps to embed everywhere. So then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click on embed on my site. Now you'll see that it says it's not public. So what you do is you just go to um, where is it? Da, 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 da. Um. <laughs> you have to find the share button. Here it is, share. So you go here and then you just get the link. So copy the link, change to anyone with the link. Done. Then you're gonna do embed on my site. You're gonna grab this URL and then you're gonna go to your website. So let me quickly log in. Uh, and then you're just gonna embed it. So if you don't know how to embed it, this is how you do it on WordPress, right? So we're gonna do Plumber, Hyde Park, Tampa. And I think this was made with Elementor. Yeah, I had my staff do this with Elementor, about Hyde Park, plumbing diagnosis and respect. Okay, so we need them to be uh, optimized, all this stuff um, in Hyde Park, Tampa. So we're gonna get rid of this and then insert this. And now this is where the this is what it should be. This is this is the map it should that should appear. Now, you might then say, "Well, Josh, this is so stupid. Why would anyone, you know, why is this, you know, this is dumb. This is this is absolutely crazy." Mashugana, right? Um, and while it does look goofy, it looks stupid. The more of these you have, the more it shows Google like, "Oh, these are driving directions. These are relevant to specific people." So it it does help with SEO. Is it the the way you're going to rank number 1? Uh, no, and, and in fact, I don't even think hydrojetting Tampa. I don't think we even have our client ranking here yet. Um, I know that they're ranking in the organic right now, but um, that's because we haven't even done this part yet. But you see, if they're ranking number four, and you do this enough times, you have your nap key, so like plumber, Hyde Park, plumber serving Hyde Park, right? And you have your internal links and stuff. You're gonna move to position three for this. Position two, right? It's gonna improve. And, and this is important because this is how you're going to rank higher um, in the map section. And not many people are supposed to come here. You can see our money making pages like drain cleaning and stuff. Um, they're not here. You know, we have the nap key, right? The United, you know, drain cleaning tamp, all that stuff, all that wonderful stuff. But, you know, it, it doesn't have this goofy map. This map is only in the pages that are not well seen, uh, and if you, people do come here, you know, um, it, it's not going to be a turnoff for the most part. I mean, you know, you, you got shit on the floor, and you need, you know, things are clogged, and everything's, you know, you got a bad day. Just because some guy has a map here, does they're not going to, they're going to think probably, what is this? But they're going to call you. Doesn't matter, and they're going to call you. Um, 
so yeah I, I just wanted to get that out of the way and uh, if you guys have any questions as always feel free to reach out and I'll be happy to respond